In 2019, Nissan invested 9.5 billion US dollars to trying to resurrect its dying sales in China. China has been Nissan's biggest profit maker in the world, its most important car market. And so far this year, its sales are down 29% versus last year. Last year was the worst year in more than a decade in China for Nissan. Things are looking very, very bad for the company. But the interesting thing is here, in October, Japanese auto brands had a sudden magical rebound. Honda was back up in the red by 23%. Toyota, I mean, they've had a pretty terrible year. They're down 3.7% for the year, but they had a good month too. They were up 1.5%, even after they told many employees they were fired because they were going to close one of their manufacturing car factories in the country. Nissan though, well, things just keep going worse and worse for them in China. And this is right after their debt, by the way, has been downgraded to junk. They're the only major automaker in the world with debt rated at junk. Even Lucid, who lose $500,000 every, on every car they sell, don't have a debt rating of junk. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Top selling cars in China for the month in October. BYD was number one with the Chin Plus. Number two was the new BYD Seagull with 37,836 deliveries. Number three, the BYD Song Plus. So BYD now has the three best selling cars in the country. Well, actually, Tesla's Model Y is often up there in the top three. It was actually in first place last month. This month, it's fallen down to eighth place, but that's more to do with the fact that Tesla sent many of its Model Ys overseas in October. October. So a lot of them didn't get delivered locally. Anyhow, Volkswagen had the Levita. That was the fourth best-selling car. It's Volkswagen's best-selling vehicle in China. By the way, that won't be for very long because it's an internal combustion engine vehicle. Internal combustion engine vehicles are collapsing. Their sales are shrinking every single month. Speaking of Nissan though, the Nissan Sylphie was the best-selling car for four straight years in China. Um, not anymore. Not even close. It was the fifth best-selling vehicle in China in October. And it's Nissan's bread and butter. In fact, it often makes up more than 70% of Nissan's car sales in China. A single model. And it's not an EV. Apparently, there's a plug-in hybrid coming, but um, yeah. I don't think things are going to go very well for the Sylphie. What was the next best-selling car? Well, it was an Aeon Y electric car, followed by the Tesla Model Y. Then the Volkswagen Sagittar, the Haval H6, was in 10th place. As you can see here, six of the top 10 best-selling cars in China in October were electric cars. That's where the market is trending. EV sales continue to grow. So Nissan invested $9.6 billion in 2019 in order to revive its failing or its flailing car business in the country. Unfortunately, it didn't invest any of that money on building electric cars or electric car factories or batteries or electric car motors. It decided it was all in on internal combustion for some reason. I don't know why they made that call, but they did. And while the rest is history, this year, Nissan sales have fallen by 30% versus last year. Unfortunately, this is just a constant trend. Nissan sales continue to fall month after month after month in China. Now, Nissan said that its $9.5 billion plan in 2019 was to increase annual sales by 1 million vehicles. Instead, its annual sales decreased by 1 million vehicles. Dongfeng Motor Company is the latest Sino foreign car company to splash out in China as it rolls out new regulations to limit gas vehicles and boost production of EVs, said Fizorg News at the time. Nissan's high-end brand Infinity will go all electric in China by 2025, but its sales haven't done anything either. And the reality is Nissan was just too late. At the time, Nissan provided few specifics on the investment plan, saying the money would go into several areas, from manufacturing to human resources. Now, Nissan sold 1.5 million vehicles in China in 2019, but the previous year, it had sold 1.7 million. This year, it's likely to sell approximately 500,000 at best. Currently, it's looking like it will probably deliver around 400 thousand vehicles. That's a pretty big decline. 2019, 1.5 million to just over 400,000 this year. 
Like I said, for Nissan, this is just the beginning of the end. They never took EVs that seriously. Yeah, they made the Nissan Leaf. It was a good car. And then it was kind of like the Jaguar I-Pace. Nissan just did almost nothing to improve it. And unfortunately, the world passed them by. So here we are. What are your thoughts on Nissan? Do you think it will still be around in 10 years time? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.